And hello everybody out there watching stuff on this website. You know, it it's the drill. This is Tamaris here, and today I have Apocalypse the Game. It's in early access right now. On their page they said it's gonna come out of early access at the start of next year, so not a whole lot longer. Um I kinda have to squint to read these menus. But I think we're going to click on this campaign one. I clicked on the main menu one first to see if it had in-game options rather than the boot up the options box that comes up before a bunch of Unity games. And all it did was enable auto-load and that's all that button does anymore. So let's click campaign and see what happens. How about that? That sounds like a good plan. Apocalypse Game Chapter 1 World Changed. It's very quiet. I turned my headphones all the way up just to be sure, but nope, I don't hear nothing. The mouse cursor's still on the screen. Well, that needs fixed. Okay, I saw blue light there and freaked out. Realized it was my uh, glowing mouse. Reflecting on the screen I was seeing. So this is saved. Press tab key to start exploration interface. This allows you to view your health and ammunition. Oh, it just turns on the HUD elements. In chapter one. Stocktown Island current location. Ammo empty. We have legs. Health 100%. OK. I have it. This is a little frustrating with this mouth. You know what? It said I had partial controller support. Let's see if the controller works. That's very disorienting. Uh, it's my default cursor, so you probably can't see it, but uh, the controller, the right stick just moves the mouse cursor. So that's weird. I picked up a gun. How do I get the gun? We can jump! Okay. Oh. Everything went dark. Did I break it? Um. I'm gonna set the controller down. Because I hit a traditional options menu button. And it brought me back to this. So, we're not going to mess with the controller then. Seeing as how I can very easily bring this all to an end with it. I'm going to keep it handy though, in case I need to do that. Okay. Pick up the gun. We picked up a gun. Alright. You have to use number keys, so you have to be sure you know what the number key is. Just don't need to worry about the mouse cursor, I guess. Stupid door. I think I don't have to worry about where the cursor actually is. Looks like there's zombies and such. It's good. It couldn't really be an apocalypse without the overused apocalypse, right? What was that noise? Did I push the body? No, all the ammo showed back up. Well, we'll just pick that up. Because I'm sure we're going to need lots of it. Hey, we can use sights. That's good. This is also stupid dark. We'll just pick that up again. It's a very annoying sound effect for that. Okay. Now my mouse cursor's disappeared. So I guess it just finally caught on to that. That door's broken. Those are some... Pentagonal bottles for a game with amazing graphics. Even if a game has absolutely amazing graphics, just stop saying whether it does or not in a game. It's a subjective thing. It's never going to be accurate. I can't mess with that door. We got a shotgun. We're getting all the guns! An M16 rifle. What makes it different than the 
Are they gonna behave differently later? Is that the trick? That seems way in depth for this. Just keep the handgun, I guess. More ammunition, which will drop out of the ceiling if I let it sit there for long enough. Because why not, I guess? I won't stick around, though. That... That shows up real fast and has a really annoying noise. What? that my muzzle flash seems to be above the gun. So just fire wildly. How about that? What kind of zombies take that many... We're at negative two health, and now we are reloaded back here, not at 100%. All right. I think this time around we whip out the heavier artillery. I don't have that gun. I don't have the handgun and the handgun didn't show back up. Oh, I have a really nasty theory on what just happened here. Time to find out if it's true. My theory is that all the guns just can't respawn, so... Because I've already attempted and had the guns and died, they will not show back up. So far, holding true. Holding very true. Grab the ammo anyway. Because maybe we can beat somebody in the face with it. There's an elevator there. I'm not going to worry about the elevator. I'm going to go down these stairs this time. Hey, look. More ammunition for a gun that no longer exists in the world. It's just a maze of darkness and nothing. Why did you put that sound effect on this ammo that respawns stupid quickly? It said that it wanted survival in this game, but... Oh, the elevator's broken. Because there's not actually an elevator back there. Alright. To each their own. Okay, we have no gun. Our only hope is that it dropped where we died. Feel like it didn't. But you know, I could be wrong. Could be pleasantly surprised. Nope. Nope, does not appear that be the case. Right. So we now have no means of defense. That ladder doesn't do anything. The health ticks at very strange intervals. I will give it that. It's a real workout on mathematics. Strange fence. You're right. The Quonset hut that doesn't fit. All right. Can we go in here? There may be guns in here. I can't open the door. Why is it still so dark? Jeez, this is annoyingly dark. I'm standing in the light, and it's still dark. Oh, look, we can sprint. We have weird little white marks on our hand. Not fingernails. Content unavailable until the 0.1.1.4 update Southwater Valley. We're going to go for it anyway. Well, I died. My health is zero. I like how we can't swim. I wonder if they considered swim as a mechanic. Nope. Uh, for a second there, I thought the jump... Oh, the jump is raising us! Alright. It just... doesn't really work very well. There's the sun that's out. Why is it still so dark? I'm getting out of the water. The swimming mechanic is confusing to me. And now we're back at 67.1499 health. That point nine nine or point oh oh nine nine. That's what's gonna help us. 
Can I get in the helicopter? How about that? Nope. Can't get in no helicopter. Of course, I don't know if I'm permitted to say anything that could possibly in any way, shape, or form be considered negative since the game only has one developer, and that seems to be a frowned upon thing. But I'm just calling what I'm seeing. The enemies also didn't seem to respond. I did take damage earlier, so maybe one's out there, but it's long since decided that it was just done with the world. I guess. Am I just supposed to keep wandering around this barren wasteland of nothing with nothing to do? Or is there actually something to do and maybe I'll find it at some point? It really is just an endurance test of when my patience will give out. The tree's coming through the wall! It must be a tree-based apocalypse then. Since this is the game of the apocalypse. The door looked like it could have been pushed open, but it can't. What about in here? Is there anything of interest in here? There's restricted area signs. Must have been the restricted area dealership. Or sign dealership area. Trees coming through walls. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, cars inside of the ground. And the same car repeated. Alright. And then we have tents. It looks like guns on the ground. I need those. I, uh... I cannot gain the gun. It's right there. Right there. I can't, can't do anything with it, though. But this one. I can stand on it as it hovers off the ground. So, that's a thing. That's amusing. Alright then. Early access games, though, I guess. Because early access and all that business. There's a big building. Is there anything going on over here of any kind of interest in any way, shape, or form? That tree... And those doors, that's of interest. It really is just the tree apocalypse. The trees are just reclaiming the land. They haven't listed the ally of the grass. There we go! Fl wall flickering. I was so stunned by its appearance I couldn't speak. Yeah, I'll make up an excuse for me stumbling on my words. I know I do it a lot. So what? Oh, I just knows the Quonset huts are fusing. They are using fusion arts. Well, all right then. Okay, uh, what's in here? Uh, it doesn't look like there's any content in here. Okay. Oh, that just uh, leads us back to where we began this trek. All right, we've beaten the content. We've survived. So it's been beaten. Victory. Yay. So, quick exit button. There we go. I was being stubborn. Okay, I was in s a little bit of a suspense there because the game just freezes when it wants to change over. Um, we'll save sandbox mode for last. Let's go to survival mode. Fight against impossible odds. And then said something something else, but 
When it reached a readable state of text, it then left the screen. So yeah. All right. Let's do this. Got the pistol. We made no noise for picking it up, so I wasn't sure. Got the M16 rifle. There's the assault rifle ammo. And now we get the assault rifle. We'll go ahead and go with that. Okay, so this one's actually visible. This is an actually visible map. Like that. Our mouse cursor's back. No, you won't, unfortunately, be able to see that, but it's back. We're just gonna have to trust me on that. It disappeared at some point. We'll see if it disappears at some point again. There we go. Aiming with the sights is how you get the cursor to disappear. In case it is uh, very annoying to you. All right, survival mode. Let's find some enemies to survive against. That sound has no source, does it? It's just an ambient sound that will play at the same volume, regardless of where in the world you are. All right, I've been wandering around the island. I haven't found a single enemy. I'm just firing the gun so I can try and fool myself into thinking that I'm surviving against the attacking mutants until my support rests. There's one! Gameplay! Give me that sweet, sweet gameplay! The sights don't really work on this gun. So, that's with no sights. That's with sights. I don't really see any point in doing the aiming. Alright. This is just the same enemy with slightly different colored clothing, isn't it? Hey, look at that, we died! I didn't even know we were taking damage. Oh, 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 yep. Guns don't exist. The ammo exists, the guns don't exist now. All right, cool. Uh, oh wait. Okay. I believe the enemies are just kind of a one hit kill deal, so. Oh, no, we got five health. I'm not gonna read out that decimal. It's unnecessary. Oh, no, that was just ammo. We have no guns. We have no guns of which to defend ourselves. Can we get past the fence? Nope. What if I get close to you? I was going through the fence, so there's that. Yeah, it's contact damage and you just kind of die. Alright. That's a shame that the enemies finally showed up. How did they die? Two of them died! Did... I'm not the only one that saw that. Two of them died. Gotta see if their corpse is still there. Holy crap, that's a lot more than two of them that died. Are they killing themselves? Or did I fall on them? Falling damage! I honestly think I'm killing them by just slamming my torso into them. Let's do it! That is how we will get to victory. Holy crap, look at that epic swath of destruction and death I have wrought with my lifeless corpse! Bam! I mean, I'm just- it keeps respawning on the same thing and that's- my only weapon is my lifeless melee combat skills. Jump! You gotta hit him with some force. That's how you kill him. Oh no, I think that one survived. They're getting stronger! They're surviving! You have to hit the big blob to get some deaths in. Did it work? Ah, we felt a couple. I haven't been able to match this. This just slaughter that I brought upon these mutants. Let's see if I can get it back. Come on! Oh, I saw at least one fall down. Got another kill. 
Yeah, there we go. This is the slaughter spot. This is where you bring them to their death! Yes. This has actually made it slightly entertaining with the mechanic of you must die on them to kill them. Kill me! Kill me so I can kill you! Do it! Do it, punk! Oh, you have to stand in front of him. Slightly in front of him. Come on, come get some of this! Oh, Okay, it stopped being fun. Would you look at that? The menu buttons didn't show up. I can highlight them and click them. Oh no, that's survival mode again. I didn't want that. Alright. Sandbox mode. This looks like this is actually a different map. Experiment with the building system. Using the left mouse key to place items, backspace to cancel, and the scroll wheel to change the equipped item. Oh, I placed a, I placed a floor. Wood torch. Where's the wood torch? I can't place the wood torch. Okay. I'm I'm using scroll wheel. Do I have to backspace to cancel? Wood chest. Okay. Wood barricade. I don't think we can uh, rotate these things. There we go. Get to clip through the wood chest. For I am an excellent pro builder. Uh, wood stairs. There we go. And we have our chest and our barricade buried inside of the... Well, it said stairs, but it's really a ramp. Wood floor. We put a wood floor on there. Well, let us put a wood floor on there. Where can we put this wood floor? I need placement for this. It's not letting me place it. A wood doorway. How about that? I'll put a wood door right there. That looks good. Whoop. I think I passed something. Wood pillar. Another wood pillar. Another wood pillar. For structural support, of course. There we go. Wood foundation. That's the one we can actually place. So look at me, I'm building stuff like it's goddamn Minecraft or something. Alright, I have done it. This is my masterpiece building. Out here we have a porch. You have to go outside of the building and back in to be able to get to the porch, as God intended it. Here we have the ballroom, where we will throw many a great gala. And then over here, this is the bathroom. You can tell because there's a roof above, so that way you're dry when you're taking a poo. And then over here is the side door, not the front door. Front doors are for heathens that want to be robbed. I only have a side door because I'm sophisticated. Down here, we have the wine cellar, which has our chest, which is where we keep all of the wine. It can't be opened because it's being aged. The only time it'll be good is when all the wood rots out and then the only thing that's left are the glass bottles of the wine. And then up here, we have my wizard tower, of which I shall rule the world from. Yes. That is my masterpiece. Took me about 13 days to build it. I had to involve some time travel to do this. As you can tell, it's quite magnificent. Right. Now, with my work complete, I shall leave it for the people as I disappear back into the ocean, for my people need me again. <laughs>